spin up the general floor. Very early on in the development of the form of contact improvisation, there was um, there was a decision made to not codify the form, to um, not put a copyright on it, not to make a particular school that puts its stamp of approval on it, and basically leave it open to everyone to determine for themselves what it is, um, which means it manifests in many, many different ways. There's no uh, specific technique, no specific set of skills that you need to know, but more an open-ended exploration. contact improvisation, I feel like I teach um, several different uh, syllabuses, if you will. Um, one set of contact skills that I teach, I think of as the classic contact dance. And it's kind of the first exercises that came out from both the, uh, the New York group, which would be like Steve Paxton, uh, Nancy Stark Smith, Needle Little, Danny Lapkoff. Um, and then also the uh, West Coast group like Mangrove and some of the others who were working out West. Um, so that set of skills would be things like physical listening, um, uh, weight sharing, architecture, um, alignment, uh, falling into and out of the floor. Uh, so that's kind of the classic context. Un point de contact, et ce qu'elle va faire, c'est simplement suivre où est-ce que mon doigt, où est-ce que son doigt l'emmène. So Elle écoute dans les légers changements de pression, tous les légers changements de pression. Et elle suit où est-ce que ça l'emmène. Et il fait aussi la même chose qu'elle. So elle essaie de ne pas guider. And I'm not Et elle ne guide pas non plus. Ça bouge tout seul. Parce que tous les deux, ils du boss trust. Ah, listen to this. Euh, vous, tous les deux, ils écoutent ça. Ouais, et les confiance, de toute façon, ça bouge. Je vais expliquer après. My friend John the fan of Mangrove, he always used to say that contact improvisation is 95%, well, sorry, it's 5% creativity and then 95% survival. So it's like 5% is just creatively putting yourself in precarious situations and then 95% is just how do you survive. You know, and, it's, and that's a beautiful thing, watching the animal in action.
also the larger social wave that came out of it where it turned into a postmodern social dance, you know, uh, where people could come together and practice contact improvisation and without necessarily thinking about performance, but just as a way of exploring oneself, um, exploring connection, exploring body and body moving in space. Improvisation, uh, there's this give and take between listening to what's happening physically and then also being in your creative mind. So, you know, in moment to moment, I'm noticing what's happening and then thinking of the possibilities so that I can choose amongst them and compose.
there's another set of exercises and scores that I present which are more um, open-ended explorations. Um, so uh, things that don't necessarily, necessarily require particular skills, um, but are more just things to do when you're in contact. Um, and those, are, I think, are things that started developing later on. Like, for example, like taking it into more of a personal exploration around what does this mean to me, or like uh, exploring emotions in relationship to contact. 